Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this look right here. So if you guys want to see what products I used and how I created this look, then please keep watching. Also, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, if you want to get that out of the way, you could just do it right now. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can see my future videos, and let's go! Alright, I'm going to start off by trying this water cream. This is called Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. I know a lot of people love this brand, and I've honestly never tried anything from this brand before, but I just got this yesterday, so I'm going to try it. Oh, it feels really nice. I've also never used a water cream. Cream. So here we go. It feels nice. Is a water cream a moisturizer? Oh my god, it feels so good. It feels so good. I know everyone like loves water creams, right? Like the Tatcha water cream or whatever. I don't know. I'm not very educated in skincare, you guys, but I feel like I'm getting to the age where I should be. <laughs> I don't know. I've always had pretty good skin, so I've never like been that into skincare. I don't know. But maybe if I was into skincare, my skin would be like even better. Well, that felt really nice. I just stuck it in my little skincare fridge because I have a little skincare fridge. All right, let's move on to brows. I'm going to start by using this Urban Decay brow finish. This is just a clear brow gel in the shade Ozone. Like I said, it's clear, but they have another one that's like sparkly gold kind of. And I'm just going to brush this through my brow hair. I like to brush them backwards just to get all the product in there and then brush them up. All right, after I apply that br br brow gel, I'm going to go in with the brow blade from Urban Decay and this is in the shade Taupe Trap. There's two sides to this. There's like a pencil on one side, a twist up pencil. And then there is also the ink stain, which is just like this little brush tip marker. And I'm going to use the ink stain side and just flick this through my brow in all the sparse areas. Okay, I'm going to take some of this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the concealer on this brush because... I'm going to carve out my brow a little bit and then I'm going to drag the concealer down because I'm going to use this concealer as an eyelid primer. Okay, my eyelids are all primed. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix. This is a powder foundation, but I'm going to use it as like a setting powder. And I'm going to take some of this powder on my Real Techniques setting powder brush and I'm just going to set my eyelids a little bit just to take away some of that tackiness from the concealer or the uh, that I used as the eyelid primer. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this single shadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Brick. And on a big fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to start blending this into my crease. I'm going to use this as an all-over lid shade, but I want it to be super blown out. And I like to start in the outer corner of my eye because I like to drag it out and up because I like to create like a cat eye type of shape because I feel like my eyes are super round and once I start building that shape I'm going to start dragging it in along my crease and like I said this is going to go all over my lid but I want it to be super super blown out. Alright once I get that shadow all blown out all over my eyelid I'm going to go in with another single shadow from Anastasia. This one is a shimmery shadow obviously and it is called Sunset and I'm going to go in with my finger with this one and I'm just going to press this right onto my lid very very pigmented so pretty so I'm gonna focus it from the inner corner to about three-fourths of the way out and I'm gonna press it onto my eyelid using my finger and I'm gonna keep it right below the crease I'm not gonna take this beyond the crease yet and then I'm gonna go in with that big fluffy brush that I used to um, blow out the matte shade and I am just going to blend the edges of this shadow into the crease so pretty okay once I press on that shimmery shade we're pretty much done with eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner this is like a little sample size one and I'm going to attempt a wing I'm gonna do this off camera because this is not an eyeliner tutorial okay but in case you're wondering what eyeliner I'm using it is this one from Kat Von D which so far I've really been liking this so 
wish me luck because uh, eyeliner is not my strong suit. Okay, did some winged liner. It's okay. It's like two different wings. Like this one looks good and this one looks good, but they don't match. <laughs> so I feel like I'm at that point where if I do any more, it's just going to like spiral out of control and then it's going to fuck everything up. So I'm just going to leave it, okay? And you know what I always say is that lashes will save a look. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. I used these yesterday. That's why they're not like coming out of a brand new box. But uh, these are House of Lashes. Iconics and these are gonna save us right now. Okay, trust me So I'm gonna pop these on and I will be right back. Okay lashes are on and I feel like they provide enough Distraction to distract from the fact that my winged eyeliner is not very good So let's move on to the face and then after I'm done with my face I'll do the lower lash line. So I just got some new foundations in the mail and these are from Wet n Wild they are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and they're dewy, which I don't normally like dewy, but we're going to try these today. I don't really know what shade I am, so I grabbed three that I think might be my shade, and I'm just going to swatch them on my face really quick. Okay, this one is light, so I'm kind of pasty right now. This one is the Buff Bisque, which might be a little too light. This one is Cream Beige. That one actually looks like it might be really good. And then this one is Golden Beige. So let's see. Hmm. Actually, it might be golden beige. Let's see. I'm going to blend these out with my finger a little bit. Actually, I don't know. The lighter one looks pretty good. This one definitely looks too, too dark, I think. And then this one looks like perfect, actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one back here, which was the golden beige. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe these off. Now that I found my shade, hopefully it looks good all over the face. And... Before I go in with that foundation, I'm going to use the, this is a new primer also, the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. It's a hydrating primer and it came in the box with all of the foundations that I just got. I'm really excited about this, you guys. Super excited. So I'm just going to put this directly onto my face. And I'm just going to use my fingers to blend this in. It smells nice. It kind of smells like watermelon candy. Ooh, it just feels so nice on the skin. It feels really good. It's a little tacky too, which is nice because it'll help the foundation stick. Okay, I'm going to go in with that foundation in the shade Golden Beige. I like this little spatula applicator. I'm just going to put this all over my face. That should be enough. Hopefully I don't need any more. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to bend, blend this out as per usual. I feel like the foundation smells good too. Foundation smells more like florally to me. I think it's the foundation that smells. Yeah, definitely has a scent. This color looks a little bit dark. I'm, mm, yeah, it looks actually a little too dark. Probably should have gone with the lighter shade, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I tanned last night, but I've been using this new tanning lotion from Bondi Sands, which I love it. It's like a foam self-tanner, like salon quality, or at least that's what it says on the bottle, but it's not super dark. I love it because, because normally I use the, um, what's it called? The Loving Tan, but it's so dark, which I love, but right now I'm so pasty white that if I put anything that's too dark on my skin, I end up looking like orange. Um, so anyways, the Bondi Sands, I love it because you don't have to wash it off, and it's like a lighter shade. It's not a super dark tanner, so it's like perfect for right now. So anyways, my point is, is that I tanned last Last night but it's not that dark so this foundation looks a little bit dark okay definitely dewy I love the way my skin looks though because it's like glowy and it went on really smoothly I like the way it applied with that brush hmm I'm impressed a little scared though because I have uh, oily skin so I'm curious to see how this wears throughout the day. Okay, I'm sitting in the kitchen editing this video. The lighting's shit, but I just wanted to check in and let you know that I filmed this video around like nine this morning and it's currently 6 p.m. And this is how the foundation looks. Um, I haven't touched up at all. 
it definitely got a little bit more dewy, but it looks good still. And I really, really love this foundation, to be honest. Like, it's fucking bomb, and I can't wait to use it again. So, thumbs up. But um, I can kind of get away with the color, so you can tell I tanned because my hands are a little orange. I think the color is going to be all right. So let's go on with some concealer. For concealer, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Golden Natural. I'm hoping this isn't too dark. It looks a little dark, but we're, we'll see. Oh no, it looks fine. I used this concealer yesterday and I really, really, really liked it a lot. Okay, and I'm going to blend that out with my Morphe E8 brush. I actually really like that. I haven't been liking um, a super like bright under eye concealer. I've been liking my concealer to be almost the same shade as my foundation, so I'm into that. Okay, I'm going to set my under eye area. So to set my under eye, I'm going to use this. This is the Stay Naked The Fix. This is actually a powder foundation um, from Urban Decay. This is in the shade 30NN, and it's pretty light, but I'm going to use it to set my under eyes just a little bit. I'm going to take some of this powder on my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm going to tap that brush out, and I'm just going to press the smallest amount of powder onto my under eye area and I'm going to drag it down. See that's brightening up the under eye a little bit. And I'm also going to press this all over my nose because my nose does not want any foundation to stay on it. Foundation slides all over my nose. I don't know why but it does. Oh maybe because I'm oily. Like the biggest ugliest pimple like right here. Ugh, cannot wait till that thing goes away. Okay for contour I'm going to use this I just realized there's like a ton of fingerprints on my camera lens, so hopefully you guys can see me clearly. <laughs> Anyways, for contour, I'm going to use this Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the medium dark palette, and it looks like this. So I'm just going to use the bronze in here. I'm kind of curious how this is gonna look because it's shimmery. I'm not like super into a shimmery contour, but we gonna find out today, girl. Okay, so I'm taking this on my big fluffy powder brush from Too Faced and I'm just going to, ooh, it's dark. Oh my God, it's so dark, maybe too dark. I'm just gonna contour my cheeks. Holy moly, that's a little too dark. So we're gonna stop right there and move on to the other side. It's like way too dark for me right now. Now I look like I have um, dirt on my face. I'm gonna take this along my hairline to bronze up my face. Don't worry, we're gonna save this. Ah! I'm gonna take it along my jawline a little bit. I'm nervous, you guys. I'm so nervous. And now I'm going to grab another big fluffy brush. This one is from Real Techniques. And I'm going to grab my e.l.f. Cosmetics bronzer palette, which I used. Oh, used this yesterday. There's like a hair, a little hair, a little baby hair right on my cheek and it's bothering me. Let me get it really quick. It's like, okay. I'm going to take the lightest contour shade right here. This one is matte. I'm going to take this all over this big fluffy powder brush and I'm going to go in and just diffuse this contour right here with the lighter contour shade because it was just a little a little too dark for me and then I'm going to do the same up here. That's better. It's not as harsh. It's still a little too dark but it's not as harsh as it was. You know sometimes shit happens and you fuck up. How did that do over that foundation? Ooh. So it looks pretty good. I look a little too dark in color, like this foundation is a little too dark for me. But the foundation itself, like, it looks good on the skin. Besides the color, you know what I mean? It looks good. I'm impressed. So far, so far I really, really, really like it. It's funny because I used this uh, Photo Focus Stick Foundation from Wet n Wild yesterday and I hadn't used it in a really long time and I realized how much I liked it after using it yesterday. So I was so excited when I got all of these in the mail and so far I really love them. And we all know that Wet n Wild is super affordable so that's a plus right? When you find a super affordable foundation that you love. Okay, so I'm going to contour my nose a little bit just because my nose is so big and round. Oh my god. I'm just going to take a little bit of the contour powder onto my finger and just tap it onto my nose. we got to slim her down a little bit. She needs to calm down. She's a little too round, a little too big. I would say bulbous, but I don't like that word, but she's a little bulbous. Okay, there's another like little hair somewhere. Tickling my face. I don't like it. Why is this happening to me? 
I couldn't get that one. I can't see it, but I could feel it. Okay, borderline looking a little dirty because I'm a little too tan. Like, look at my little white ear. Normally, I would put foundation on my ear, but I have all these earrings, and I just don't want to do that today. All right, moving on to highlight. I'm going to use this one from CoverGirl. This is the Gilded Glory Highlighter. I'm going to take this on my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush and press this on the top of my cheekbone. It's a little um, too dark for me, I think. It's like a coppery. I usually prefer like a champagne color, like gold, pearl type of highlighter. I don't usually like the orangey, peachy, coppery ones. This one is like a coppery one. I feel like they're a little too warm for me, a little too dark, but I'm using this one anyways because it matches my eyeshadow. And it's a little, there's like a lot of fallout. It's a little chalky, if you ask me. I look almost sunburned. I look very glowy. Face looks good though. I like the base. Okay, for blush, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade Pink Passion. But I'm going to use the shade Rose, which is this like dusty rose color right here. I'm going to take this on my Real Techniques Tapered Blush Brush, and I'm just going to lightly tap this onto my cheeks and kind of stamp it on outward. And then I always like to go back in with the fluffy powder brush that I use for my foundation and just kind of tap over the blush just to diffuse it a little bit and to further blend it into the skin. Perfect. Okay, um, let's go back in with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go back into this eyeshadow right here. This one is called Brick and it's the matte shade that I used for my transition. I'm going to take some of this on my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. Alright, I'm going to go in with the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit Cosmetics. This is my favorite, all-time favorite mascara. It's so good. I'm just going to give these lashes a little coat at the base to blend them with my natural lashes. I almost stab myself in the eye. Isn't that the worst when you're trying to put on your mascara and then you stab yourself in the eye and it makes you blink really hard and then you like fuck up all your makeup and you have like a big like blob on your face and then your eyes start watering and then like it hurts. Oh my god. That's like the worst. And I think I'm gonna apply just a little bit of mascara to the lower lashes but I'm gonna focus it only on the lower lashes that are on the outer corner of my eye just to keep that like cat eye effect going. I have really round eyes so so I really like to try and um, make them look less round. <laughs> I want like an almond shaped eye but I have to fake that because for me it's not natural. Alright now let's go in to the lips and then we'll be done. Okay. This is going to be my lip combo for the day. I haven't tried these two products together, but today we're going to. For lip liner, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencil in the shade Iconic Nude. I really like this one. Honestly, like this is comparable to my all-time favorite, the NYX Natural Lip Liner Pencil. The color is very, very similar. So I'm going to overline my lips. My skin just looks so good. I really am impressed with this foundation. Like, it looks like, because I'm looking at it up close, obviously. And I tend to use more matte eye, um, eyeshadows, more matte foundations. And so, around my mouth, uh, it gets a little, like, crusty or, like, dry looking, you know? Because I'm, like, older and I'm starting to get wrinkles around my mouth. Um, but I'm, like, you know, obviously in the mirror looking up close at my skin right now. And it just, it looks so hydrated. And this foundation just looks really nice. I'm really happy. I actually really, 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 super really, 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 really like this lip liner. A lot. I like it a lot. It's like creamy. It goes on nice. I love the color. It's probably really expensive though. Not gonna lie. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the ColourPop Velvet Luxe Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Can You Even. I think this one is a little on the peachy side. I literally just got this in the mail yesterday. And it's like literally velvet. It is a little on the peachy side, but it's pretty over this lip liner. And it's seriously so soft. It's like not glossy. It's not, it, it's matte, but it's like creamy. I don't, it's like literally velvet. The texture is so, so nice. Mm, I like this lip combo. It looks like all my other lip combos. <laughs> 
But that's like what I love, you know? Like colors like this. Makes my teeth look white too. No Photoshop here, bitch. All right, actually it kind of looked bomb as fuck, not gonna lie. Okay, we just need to set our face. Let me find the setting spray. I'm just gonna use a holy grail. We're gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set this face. And hopefully this foundation wears nicely and I don't look like an oil slick by the end of the day. Stay tuned. Wow, you guys, I'm so proud of myself. I'm like using new makeup. I'm experimenting with my looks. I'm not just doing the same shit all the time. So that is it for this look. I actually really like it, you guys. I'm super into it. I hope you guys like it too. If you do, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!